Hi, thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we are called to be joy to the world, to be the joy in other people's lives at this time. So, I don't know how you're feeling. How are you feeling? Love to know how you're feeling. Now lockdown is easing slightly. I mean, if you're a beautician, you might be a bit annoyed that everyone else can open and you can't. Um, if you want to get your nails done, you might be really annoyed that you can't get your nails done. I don't know. You may be delighted the pubs are open. I went to get my hair cut today, so I was really pleased. I went out for a cooked breakfast on Saturday in a cafe. That was amazing. We had two masses in church with a congregation. That was amazing. But I think a lot of people are aware that, you know, the virus hasn't really gone away. So kind of just like mindful that while we can go out and about and do stuff, well, maybe, maybe some people don't want to, you know, and that's understandable. And I think when you go out, there's, you know, a sort of a sense of some people being cautious and other people not, you know, and it's probably going to become the, you know, the social tension point of the year, you know, when you're out and about and people aren't socially distancing from you or you're not doing it from them by accident or, or whatever. I was in the supermarket today and I, I walked the wrong way. I was, I walked over an arrow pointing towards me, not on purpose, I just didn't know which way to go. So, yeah, I think as followers of Jesus, we have a real obligation to be bearers of his joy to our world. And I know so many of you following our social media in the parish have been engaging so amazingly, and that has been one of the great joys of lockdown for me, to, to see so many people interacting and engaging. Yet each one of us who is engaging, each one of us who's connected to a community of faith, it is our responsibility now to be bearers of God's joy to our world. You know, if we're feeling nervous about stuff, you know, maybe not to snap at people who we don't see of following the rules or even to be judgmental of people who don't appear to be following the rules. That could be a, a temptation for us. And then on the reverse side, if we're a bit gung-ho about things, well, we're not showing the care and attention that we should towards others. And we might be actually letting others down by, by not being sensitive enough uh, to, to their fears or, or to their needs. You know, you don't know who's come out the door. Someone could have serious illness, but desperate to get out, but need people to, to protect them and, and to care for them. So as followers of Christ, we have a real obligation to be careful and cautious, but to be joyful, to be respectful of others around us. And, I think there's going to be a lot of a lack of joy in, in, in the world at the moment. People are losing their jobs and, you know, we know the situation is very difficult for countless numbers of people. So to be joy in the lives of others is so important. How can we do that? Well, we can actually listen before we talk. You know, maybe listen to someone and burden their problems or their frustrations. We can identify with their problem. You can say a nice word, yeah, I've been struggling like that as well, you know? And do you know what I found that really helped me? I prayed. I relied on my God in this time of difficulty and he came through for me. He's really shone his grace on me or shone his light on me and poured his grace into my heart. I'll say a prayer for you that, you know, you'll get through this. You'll, you'll know God's presence with you. Something really simple, something that says you're listening, that you care and that you have an answer that you can offer them. That could be absolutely amazing to share your joy, to share your faith with those you meet. I think it's going to be critical at this time and we have such an opportunity, but also a responsibility to share God's love with the world around us. Thank you for watching. and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.